I seen that. Now, boy, boys, I decided years ago that when I get a service truck, watch it, look. When I get a bigger service truck, I'm gonna have a push bumper on here. Just this exact freaking reason, right? Chart. We're a mile and a half off the road, Larry. You scared the shit out of me. He does that. Push a little bit, push. Right here. Gets us in there when we need. Anyhow, the service truck. Make that part. Yeah, I figured we'll do this three or four times going back in here. Uh, I just hope you're watching good. You're scaring the piss out of me back here on the cab and stuff, but I figure you know what you're doing. Oh, it's good. Right there in that mud hole next to that pond back there, we're probably going to need some gravel for long. It's sinking just no more than we drove in and out of here. I made a push bumper for the front of this truck a few years back. And uh, it's helped out a ton, but the only problem is, is this is a one ton. Even now, it weighs. Uh, I forget what this thing weighs. It, uh, it's got a shitload of tools in it, but it ain't enough. But in the next service truck I get, I'm gonna make sure that son of a bitch weighs 16, 18 thousand pounds. And when I lock that son of a bitch in four wheel drive and get against something, I'm gonna be able to do some good there, driver. <laughs> Are you coming out here in the morning? Or? Yeah, I figured me and you can come out together in the morning and you just pick up where we left off. I figured I'd shoot you up in somewhere and pop the brakes and call it a day. All right. I'm going to get that uh, holy shit bucket on that excavator and root out some of them stumps in that yard and make that yard something we can get some production through. Yeah, it's going to take a little bit of clearing to get it in a little better shape. Yeah, we need that. As big as that yard is, we need that son of a bitch where we can rock out, you know? Get a lot of logs in there get them fucking stumps up that damn way. Yeah. We got some white oak stumps in there from our buddies that uh, logged it uh, last time. I think, uh, Fred, if you watch this, when y'all... I think it was two years ago y'all logged this some bitch uh, uh yeah it sounds right i think it's two years ago y'all logged this and your white oak stumps are rotting down and uh hell there's about a oh a 20 inch stump i just popped out with my mud bucket earlier and uh i figured these big white oak good veneer stumps y'all left back there i'm gonna put my big bucket on or my holy shit bucket on there and root them out I'm gonna leave this a going because we go right here when we drop over this one. This is the one that needs uh, graded down. Ain't bad going down, but it's a bitch coming up. It's getting pretty bumpy. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Coming out loaded, that might be a situation. Be a little bit better loaded than empty, you think? Or uh, it's gonna be worse. It's, this this thing bitch is jumping up and down, coming out empty. So when we come out loaded, it gets jumping up and down. We're gonna rip the rear end out. This uh, this section right here is gonna have to be graded. Okay. It's a rough ass right back here. It's a mile, damn near to mile. It's a mile, 1.4 miles back this road off the street. Uh, all the way down to right about here. It's pretty good hot to drive in the middle. All right. But I'll tell you what, be able to take a service truck. Now my bumper today, we had that rich guy where I broke my foot. Uh, Dwayne hit his damn gate and I had to straighten out. Here's where we got coming up. Oh, it's gonna get fun. But, uh, right here on the right. Wouldn't hurt to take that through my bitch out. Alright. I'm gonna ride you up this hill. Yeah, you might want to get up right close to me because this is uh, a lot of leaves on it making it slick. There we go. Whoa, baby. This is why you gotta have a goddamn service truck made that son of a bitch and do something. Oh, come on, baby. We're getting it. Oh, come on, baby. I'm spinning a little bit. Look at that. Look at that. That is my main wish for a service truck. To get have one that 
I could do this shit right here with. You get off the road a long ways, you don't even be taking a skitter out and wasting time. You just take your damn service truck out and push them in or out. But like I said, this one ton just ain't quite enough. It needs to be a son of bucking, uh, needs to be about a 16,000 pound truck with 22.5 rims on, or you know, wheels on it. Then you have something you can work with. I'll probably have to. Yeah, I cleared out a little spot up there by my mud bucket. You'll see up there. Uh, I think you can just shoot right up there beside it. Oh, go up here and hang a left hander. No, I moved away. He's gone. It'll be up there on the right by the skitters. You'll see. All right, Larry. I'm probably gonna need to be against him again. Oh, baby. Yeah, baby. Oh, Larry's like riding a bucking mule. Oh, son of a biscuit. That'll get us. Oh, to keep the truck on the gravel, if we got this truck on the gravel, we ain't gonna have no traction to get un unhooked. Okay. That anywhere you want to do. Or you can take a left if you want. I'll clean that one stump out to the left. No, but drop it right here. That way I can get out from underneath the sun of bitches without any problems. You think it'll sit there for in the morning? Oh, yeah. I can set brakes on it. Yeah. That boom will bleed off probably, but it might be all right. Let's do that tractor brake. But we're we gotta get that yard cleaned out back here. We're gonna get it's gonna we're gonna be pouring the meat to it on this job.